Hello Trivia friends, welcome back to Determentes. My name is Sean, I hope that you are doing well and that you are having an amazing day. Today's quiz is round 86 of the Ultimate Trivia Quiz, another 50 questions to test your general knowledge and see how much you know about the world around us. Keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly, check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. The topics for today's quiz are... We start off with Geography, then Transportation. Mixed trivia questions, animals, and the month of August. Let's begin. In which country will you find the Three Gorges Dam? In China, Nigeria, or India? It is in China. Up until 1960, which city was the capital of Brazil? Brasilia, Rio de Janeiro, or Salvador? The correct answer is Rio de Janeiro. What is the official currency of Thailand? The Thai Ril, the Thai Baht, or the Thai Dong? It is the Thai Baht. Which mountain overlooks the city of Cape Town? Blue Mountain, the Drakensberg, or Table Mountain? It is Table Mountain. Which of these deserts can be found in North America? The Gobi, the Mojave, or the Namib Desert? The Mojave Desert. Up until 2016, which country had a one-child-per-family policy? China, India, or North Korea? The correct answer is China. In which country will you find the Black Forest? Is it in Germany, Romania, or Russia? The Black Forest is in Germany. Which of the following is a steep, rugged cliff, a brook, a crag, or a turin? A crag. The Himalayas stretches across five countries, Nepal, China, Pakistan, Bhutan, and Russia, Bangladesh, or India. India. In which ocean is the island nation of Madagascar? Is it in the Atlantic, in the Pacific, or the Indian Ocean? The correct answer is the Indian Ocean. In which city will you find the world's busiest train station? In Tokyo, New York, or Hong Kong? The answer is Tokyo. As at 2023, the longest non-stop flight is between Singapore and Rio de Janeiro, Perth or New York. Singapore to New York. Which automaker has models called the DB9, the Vanquish and the Vantage? Is it Maserati, Bugatti or Aston Martin? Aston Martin. Which oil supertanker caused a massive oil spill in Alaska 1989? The Amoco Cardis, Exxon Valdez, or Deepwater Horizon? The Exxon Valdez. Which gas is used in commercial hot air balloons? Butane, helium, or propane? They use propane. In the Tour de France, what color jersey do winners of each stage wear? White, yellow or red polka dot? Yellow. 
yellow. In harness racing, what is the two-wheeled chariot called? A sulky, a porian or a dervish? It's called a sulky. Bird Reynolds starred in the 1977 film Smokey and the Marlboro Man, Bandit or Rookie. Smokey and the Bandit. In which US city will you find the airport commonly referred to as LAX? New York, Las Vegas or Los Angeles? It's in Los Angeles. Which was the first car released by the Ford Automotive Company? Model A, Model T or the Fennig? It was the Model A. Which author published Just So Stories for Little Children in 1902? Was it Rudyard Kipling, Enid Blyton or Lewis Carroll? Rudyard Kipling Which of these search engines was launched first? Google, AltaVista or Yahoo? The correct answer is Yahoo! The pop group Wham! consisted of George Michael and Dieter Bolin, Andrew Ridgely or Per Gessel. Andrew Ridgely Where would you find yourself if you went spelunking? In a gym, the ocean or a cave? You will find yourself in a cave. To which mythological creature does the term Nosferatu refer? Werewolf, Banshee or Vampire? The answer is Vampire. What do you call a cat with a tricolour coat? Is it a Maltese, a Tabby or a Calico? It is a Calico. Complete the mnemonic rule of thumb, I before E except after D, C or R. C The four horsemen of the apocalypse are conquest, famine, death and avarice, sloth or war. The correct answer is war. Which Disney character was originally known as Dippy Dog, Goofy, Pluto or Brutus? It was Goofy's original name. The courage gained from intoxication with alcohol is called Dutch courage, Russian courage or Irish courage. It is Dutch courage. And it's time for the bonus question. Which word do we use to describe something with the potential to cause cancer? If you know the answer, leave your answer in the comments. And if you are enjoying this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. Try to identify each animal. These are otters. Albatross. Tanuki or raccoon dog. Porcupine
Chinchilla. Snow Leopard. Narwhal. Jaboa Aina and a chameleon. In 2018, who became the first American company ever to be worth one trillion dollars? Amazon, Apple or Tesla? The correct answer is Apple. 1693, who invented champagne? Louis Ruderer, Vieux Clicquot or Dom Perignon? The correct answer is Dom Perignon. 1891, the world's first traveler's checks were issued by which company? American Express, Thomas Cook or MasterCard? American Express 1945, the US drops the first atom bomb on which Japanese city? Nagasaki, Kyoto or Hiroshima? Hiroshima 1945, which U.S. President signs the Charter of the United Nations, Eisenhower, Roosevelt or Truman? Harry S. Truman 1881, the discoverer of penicillin Alexander Fleming was born in which country? France, Scotland or New Zealand? The correct answer is Scotland. In August of which year did the original Woodstock Music Festival take place? In 1967, 68 or 69? 1969 What age was Elvis Presley when he died in August 1977, 39, 42 or 44 years old? He was 42. On which day in August is International Left-Handers Day celebrated? The 13th, 21st or the 25th of August? On the 13th. And 1936, which German city was the host of the Summer Olympics? Was it Stuttgart, Munich or Berlin? The correct answer is Berlin. And we have reached the end of today's trivia quiz. How many questions could you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the bonus question. Which word do we use to describe something with the potential to cause cancer? If you know the answer, share it below. And if you enjoyed today's quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.